about it. It's like there was nothing else in Haiti but voodoo. Mm -hmm. So no matter what happens, they say, ah, voodoo, mm -hmm. when it's negative, of course. But what they don't say is, yeah, liberation, voodoo. Independence, voodoo. Liberty, voodoo. Mm -hmm. How do we exemplify, demonstrate what we say? <laughs> Number one, we have to understand that in voodoo, everything is about purpose, uh -huh. function. We have no God that we have to go and admire and beg for. No. Voodoo says, know who you are and use the tools that are proper to you. Okay. So when I read, for example, in books, historians writing about Toussaint Louverture, for example, and they will say, well, Toussaint Louverture, he admired the French, he was with the French, he da 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 da. No. Toussaint is a leg back. Mm -hmm. A leg back is a very slow and soft moving person now who does not say directly what he's going to think, who leads things to a certain spot and make it happen. So he could have whatever appearance that he wants to have mm -hmm. okay sure. but what makes me know that Toussaint Louverture is essentially a legba personality mm -hmm. Toussaint speak all the languages on Saint-Domingue Spanish English French Haitian Latin he could tell the recite the masses better than most priests mm -hmm. So he masters the whole, anything, everything about the language. And that's key. Because in Africa, in Yoruba, they would say, Eshu Elegba. The Eshu is the messenger that transmit, trans, translate. If you, you're making a wish towards the sun, the sun does not speak your language. But Eshu will tell the sun what you said. Mm -hmm. And Eshu will tell you what the sun has agreed or disagreed to help you or whatever. So a Ligma personality is a personality that will take, open the way and traces the road to whatever needs to be done. So in the moment we're talking about, the purpose is independence. Mm -hmm. So Legba is going to train all those who are going to run IT for the next 25 years. Legba is going to open the way for Ogu to arrive behind him and get the work done. Bring us transformation. That's Ogu's specialty, transformation. So take us from slave mentality to an independent free people's mentality. That's mm -hmm. Dessaline's work. So as we study each of the main characters in our history, then we understood, hey, Vodou, Astri, same or same. If I uh, can study Baina and be clear about who she is, yes. is she an Ezeli Freda dominant or an Ezeli Dantor dominant? If I'm a Freda dominant, then I need to speak softer. I need to correct the way I speak. I need to behave different ways, use as my weapons my look, my smile my singing. If I'm a Dantor dominant, then I must always have my knife on me. Mm -hmm. I deal with things a lot differently than Freda, my sister. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? So it's not about serving or, or, or um, what they like, they, they usually say, adoring. There's no adoring, there's no serving. It's about learning and applying the principles. Mm, yes. And that is why when you study IET's history and you identify each of the people involved in bringing us to independence, then you see clear, clearly the do at work. Absolutely. And bringing victorious result, and that's why they hate. Yes. Mm -hmm. Woo! That's that's okay. All right. So I, I, I was joking with Dr. Clyde Winters and Dr. David Imhotep the other night, and I said, "Y'all need to put carpet on the floor so you won't break all the mics that y'all dropping." You just dropped some mics, uh, uh, my goddess. My goodness. Now, 
what I I really want to convey with this interview uh, and this time that we have together for the community, we <clears throat> sit up and we talk about liberation. We talk about emancipation. We talk about education. Uh, we talk about Ma'at a lot, but we never talk about uh, what worked. What worked? IAT worked. They did something mm -hmm. that no other African nation has done. The reason that IAT is under uh, uh, such uh, a vicious and vehement attack is because it was uh, 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 it, it was an embarrassment uh, for what happened to the invaders, the colonizers, when they came there and Hardin Rev's uh, speech, they got their asses served to them. What was the spiritual system that allowed? these people are people to be able to defeat this colonial empire. Site so correction, to defeat those colonial empires. IT whooped Spain, IT beat up British, and IT knocked down French. See, um, when you get... When you get corrected by Mama Bello, it's an honor. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want to have right there. Thank you, my <laughs> beloved goddess. I, I, I say I yield. Okay, I, I aid. It, it, it's so, so family. You know, I keep saying this over and over again. We got this. We just have to do the work. The blueprint and the archetype is already there. It's already there, and so we have been proselytized, domesticated, and co and colonized to be afraid of ourselves. This is us. They used dark matter, dark energy to defeat the false light because they got you thinking white and light is one in the same, always go towards the light. No, we go in the black room. We come from the dark. We come, we've mastered blackness. We've mastered Kemet because in order for light to be seen, darkness has to be there first. Absolutely. This is a system, a spiritual system, that we should not be afraid of. This is a spiritual system that we should learn how to master and do it in our black room. We've got the, we've got the black room. Uh, uh, Brother B-Man Billy Bird gave us the glory on, on how to set up our black room and how to, and then Ancestral Voices comes along and teaches us how to have, how to ritualize the black room and what we're supposed to be doing in there. And then Mama Bello, I've never called you Mama Bello. I just love that term so much. That's just so sweet and endearing. Mama Bello uh, uh, gives us the, the, the how-to. She gives us the glory. She gives us the process. She puts meat on the bones and the skeleton of our ancestors so that we, because we cannot fight unless we have our spiritual house in order and in alignment. Mm -hmm. Brother Dahlia. Yes, Brother Philip. Uh, what has happened? How has it impacted you by taking this deep dive into our original first frequency uh, of, of, of Vodou? Okay. Um, give thanks, Brother Philippe. And um, you made an earlier point that I'll pick up on and, and you know, before I, I, I move on to your point, where sure. you, talk, you talk about all these um, systems that have been studied to death. But for some reason, Bodu, um, yeah, it's, uh, I believe, what was the term? Benign neglect, you know? Um, it's interesting because as, as a, an educationist myself, you know, I can tell you as you go through the educational system, you're forever learning about the principles that prom um, push the American Revolution, yes. the principles that push the French Revolution, yes. um, that push the Chinese Revolution, Maoism, communism and year after year people interrogate these systems to help them shape their society for the better is it not so america's first um, constitution isn't the same now as it was then because these principles help you transform and progress in society so when we see that we have an actual revolution 
that to, to date is still benignly neglected in academia, then it should be obvious to all that what is happening here is people are trying to retard that process. Yes, because why do we know about the principles of fraternité, liberté, égalité, Americans' mm -hmm. freedom of speech? But we have equally a, a, a revolution that happened. Let's not even let's let's pretend that the spiritual part is not a part of it. But mm -hmm. there's a revolution that happened, and for every revolution, we've been able to institutionalize it. We've been able to um, create a body of knowledge from it. Where do we find Haiti's revolution in the world of academia? It's virtually yeah. absent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So again, as I said, as an educationist, from that point of view, you can already see there's a, a deliberate attempt to retard the mental yeah. progress yeah. of melanated people. Absolutely. Now, um, as uh, uh, going going to your question in terms of how it's changed uh, me or even informed how I live my life, um, Brother Philippe. As you can tell, and as I mentioned with this film mm -hmm. um, and how we came into being, it wasn't my original conception. Sure. It was me listening to an elder and saying, why not? That's all. So that willingness to be a, a servant, to be willing, it, it, it changes everything. Because again, we are sharing energy. So Elder Small suggested it, I took it up on, and the film created itself. Anyone who's seen that five-minute version, as I said, Mama Bello and um, Queen Mother Doherty were four years apart. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To each other. That's not of my doing. That is what energy does. That is what voodoo does. Because voodoo is life, is it not? It encompasses all that is life. Yes? So again, even in this film, we principalize it because we'll do itself also when we go across all of West Africa and even into IET, we find the principles continuing. One of the significant meanings of Vodou again refers to the human being. When we when people hear the word Vodou, the first thing that's coming in their mind is that dude from Dr. No um, and um, you know James Bond doing all these weird and wonderful things. Yes. Yes. Right? So it's not only just the system. When we look at the principle, it also looks at the human being. And then even the word voodoo also has the meaning as to what people call the Orishas or in Haitian voodoo, the Loa. So when you, you go deep into even just the word itself voodoo, you understand that it informs you or extends your understanding of what you as a human being should be. Because then you start to realize, and Mama, Be Mama, Mama Bello reminds us in the movie so much, not to forget our cosmic connection. Yes. Because what that word, African word voodoo means when it refers to the human being is that you are a force of nature. Yes. You are a being that is always in transformation. This is about three of the meanings of just voodoo alone. So for me, um, I guess the work started with ancestral voices and wanting to leave myself and Verona, wanting to leave um, a body of work that also says, you know, yeah, we... We've always had something, something mm -hmm. valuable. So yeah, it's just working in a sense with breath. That's to keep it simple, um, uh, brother Philippe. That's all for me. There is no need to control anything. I allow things to happen through me, with me, for me, <laughs> and yeah, this it, 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 there is no set formula. It's just willing to be a, a vessel of nature. Um, in that regard, you know, if I'm not making sense, I can always um, come back. Yeah. It's just the willingness to be and applying those principles, you know, because yeah. when you, when we have this in-depth understanding, it changes what we even think we're capable of. Absolutely. Yeah. You, we, you know, um, I am so excited uh, about this conversation because uh, when I develop this, this theoretical framework, uh, called the four frequencies, and I started talking about first frequency and what that means, and who we are as a as a as a as a people. Um, the other night, uh, we had Doctor. Uh, I, I referred to it earlier, Doctor Clyde Winters and Doctor David Imotep on the on the platform, and Doctor Winters uh, and Doctor Imotep shared with us uh, the pyramids <clears throat> that or the pyramid that's on Mars. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is no spot on this earth 
uh, where pyramids are not. What I want our family to understand, when I say to you, you are a god or a goddess uh, having a human uh, colonized experience, uh, I'm not saying that to make you feel good or trying to even raise your self-esteem. Absolutely. I'm telling you a, a science. I'm telling you a truth. I'm telling you something that's been proven. To this day, there's architecture uh, and language that has not been able to be duplicated or replicated. That we mastered. Absolutely. We mastered the earth, but then we mastered heaven. And then we merged the two. And we mastered heaven on earth. And we became living, walking gods and goddesses. Mm -hmm. Now, we did things that defied the laws of gravity, that defied all of the European sciences. Mm -hmm. And we're still doing it in various different ways, in various different degrees. But what I am, I am also a strategist, mm -hmm. meaning that I have to, I, I, I take a deep dive into the data. Mm -hmm. I look for the cause and the effect. What is the effect and what caused the effect? As above, so below, as within, so without. That's philosophy, philos. We ask a question. When I look at Haiti, IAT, or when I look at Vodun, when I look at the spiritual systems, when I read, when I'm reading uh, Dr. Uh, Wade Noble's uh, Island of Me, and, and I look at what we did with what the, uh, if you will, military technology of that time that, that IAT had, and we kicked their asses. Well, that worked. Why are we not using what works? We have the data. We have the history. We have Mama Bello with us. It works. And you never have to leave your house to do it. That's how powerful we are. So why are we... Uh, Mama Bella, why are we so afraid of ourselves? Your thoughts over the years as it relates to that, what, what, are, you, what are your thoughts on that? Why are we afraid of our original frequency, what we've already originally mastered, that DNA is in us, that spiritual DNA is in us? Well, many have worked on this before. Uh, Franz Fanon, for example, analyzed and studied and, uh, and wrote it in several books to explain to us the problem. The problem is conditioning. Mm -hmm. If I take an elephant and I work on the elephant's mind, and by the time I put a rope around the elephant's neck, a little rope, it doesn't have to be much, and tie it to uh, this little pole of bamboo, the elephant has the force and power and intelligence to bring down the whole house. But the elephant has been conditioned that once it sees this little rope around its neck tied to this little bamboo pole, then it knows you cannot move. Mm. And that's exactly the conditioning that we are under. Sure. Those of us who, who have the ability to look beyond and above, I suppose somewhere there is a grace, somewhere there is a blessing that enabled us to at some point, because all of us are under, don't, don't imagine for a second, not me. If you do that, you will fall in a worse way. Mm -hmm. We are all under conditioning, except that some of us have been blessed to see a little bit a different way. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And each day, if we're courageous enough, we'll say, hmm, I could take two more steps. And after those two more steps, you know, mm -hmm, well, maybe I'll take two more. Uh -huh. I'm 73 years old. I've been no, you're taking not. steps. You can't be, you're not sitting there looking that good. Come on now, goddess. I can say that. I'm a minister. I can, you know, you you looking good. I'm just saying. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We, when we say black don't crack, we ain't playing. Go ahead, goddess. 
my firstborn is 51. So. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's right. I could be your son. My God. He, that's crazy. Yes, exactly. My and goodness. he is a grandfather. Wow. Beautiful. That means I am a great grandma. Yes. Queen All mother, right. queen mother. Come on. <laughs> yes. So those of us who have received a uh, an opening, a little door has been opened for us. So we slipped through and took two steps and then two more, but everything has to do with courage. Mm -hmm. Some of us take two steps and say, huh? mm, if I go one more, they might get me. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we freeze right there. Mm -hmm. Some of us take four steps. Some of us take steps, new steps every so often, but the program is still what it is. And the program gets better because they're forever on it. They never give up. They never say, oh, this country is dominated enough. It's, we've stolen half of their wealth. We've removed all of their intellectuals. Okay, let's take IT example. But it's true for all of our countries if we okay. have eyes to see. But in IT, I like to say, Three major elements. Number one is when we came into the knowledge of self. When we started, when they came with the um, uh, the code noir, mm -hmm. the black code, de declaring legally that black people are but furniture, mm -hmm. so we can mm -hmm. cut them up anywhere. They can cut cut us up whichever way they want, etc., etc. We came in voodoo with a song. Nous tous ces anges, anges c'est nous. Nous tous ces anges, anges c'est moi. Aida wedo, dombala wedo. Nous tous ces anges, anges c'est moi. We saying, we, we are respond to the slow was, we are all angels, and the angel below is us. Aida wedo. Dumbala Wedo, the forces of knowledge, of absolute knowledge, yes. are with us. So we are all angel. So three lessons in this one little song. It tells you everything is transformed with knowledge. Mm -hmm. Knowledge is key. That's why Aida and Dumbala Wedo, the divinities of absolute knowledge, undivided knowledge, continue to nourish us. So as long as we have them with us, we can change whatever situation. So your wow. business of saying we are nothing but furniture, that's your business. We know we are angels. Absolutely. So we continue to fight. And with that, and many other songs that builds character, that builds memory, that make us, we remind us of Africa and the various kings and what, you know, knowledge. We had no schools, but we had the songs and the songs held all the information. Yes, yes. Really. yes. The dances held much of the information. Right. And so when we got to 1803, had already beaten the uh, Spaniard army in 1800, 1801, the British army took its largest, most desperate, most terrible loss in all of the Americas in IT. Oh, what was then Saint Domingue? They came with forty thousand men, saying that in less than a week the island would be theirs. Well, six months later, when they were backing off, they were living on the ground thirty thousand dead. Mm -hmm. As evil as they are, and that is their nature, we must know it. Yes. The Jamaicans black that they brought with them in the army, who fought for them in Saint Domingue. They put them all on the same boat and set fire to that to those boats. Mm. Burned all their own black soldiers. Didn't want anyone to go back to Jamaica and tell our black people how black people can fight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they had to erase them. Mm. So 1801, we whoop British armies, but and then 1803 put France in an absolute, crushed the French army. The French 
till now, nobody has the numbers. They, they, of course, they lie a lot about how many. But I would tend to believe it was over 100,000, you know, with the different vagues of, of troops that they sent back to sure. Saint-Domingue to dominate. Mm -hmm. to dominate. And one of the very interesting battles, in fact, Baina and friends, we did a special on Crépapiro, the Battle of Crépapiro, where 12,000 French troops encircled 800 Haitian people, because there were maybe four or 500 military, and then the rest were civilians. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so less than 1,000 against 12,000. And the French general Rochambeau said, hey, set my table. I'm going to go crush a fly. I'll be back within a half hour. Wow. So that was on March 2nd that he's going to be back in a half hour. <laughs> well, March 2nd, March 3rd, March 4th, March 15th, March 18th, hey, fly is still not dead. <laughs> we have no more water. We have no more food. We have no weapons. Long ago, weapons finished. Uh, ammunition, forget it. But still, we were fighting. Yes. And we won came out with more than 350 people alive, where the French counted over 3,000 dead. Wow. My, my, my. Less than 1,000 against 12,000. And uh, Dr. Wade Nobles has the most wonderful explanation for that battle. It's really worth uh, looking at it. So anyway, yes. all of this to say what? When you are one with yourself, number one, mm -hmm. if I am Aishan and I claim to be Hindu or uh, Baya or whatever, whatever, I have split myself into a lot of different mm -hmm. parts. If I am Aishan and every time I speak and I want to make a point and I tell you, well, you know, Voltaire said it, Shakespeare said it, the other one said it and the other one. I am splitting Baina into pieces. Absolutely. I'm not whole. Sure. Sure. So I must understand that I must be whole spiritually. And I must be whole intellectually. I must be whole psychologically. Yes. I must be whole in every way that will make me whole physically. And many diseases that we suffer from are not well some people will explain it with bacteria virus and blah 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 that's their business but when you come to see someone in voodoo that's not where they're going to look first they're going uh -huh. to look the split between your spiritual and your physical the split between your and, uh -huh. and that's why you will have a very simple remedy to remove the problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But part of it asks for effort. We don't give you a pill to swallow. Mm -hmm. We might ask you to get up every morning and go look at the sunrise as medicine. And you say, what is this? Look at, yeah, everybody can see the sunrise. Sure. Right. But do you know what happens to your body when you drink a glass of water while the sun is just appearing. Yeah. Try it. You might like it. I think I will. We'll do that at the bar. That's what I'm going to be doing now. Shoot, you ain't said nothing but a word. Our <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to be doing. My goodness. Yeah. My, my, my. Okay. So, because we are a cosmic people. Yes. The rain affects me. The moon affects mm. me. Uh. I remember one time there was a major eclipse and they went to a big thing. Government said everybody had to stay indoors, blah, 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 blah. So what I decided to do while I was locked in into my house was to measure myself when the eclipse started and then measure when it peaked and then measure myself again when it went down. And the wonderful thing I learned that day my, all the sizes, but in the breast, it was easier to see. An inch and a half more at the peak of the eclipse. Mm. Okay. And then when the eclipse went down, 
it was gone. That inch and a half was lost. <laughs> <laughs> so, but to me, the most important lesson is that how much what ha what's happening out there in the cosmos yes. is in my body. That's yes. Yes, because we are a walking cosmos. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. So it is out there, so it is with us. So if you're if you're living in dry land, there is a way it affects everything about you. If you're living in rainy areas and forest areas, by the sea, on top of the mountain, all of this will affect your behavior, your culture, your language. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, this is a historic day, family. We've got uh, Layla Maxily. Uh, she's, she's, she's from Somalia. Somalia's in the house right now. Oh, uh, welcome, what, Somali. What, oh, my gosh. Y'all are everywhere. This, this is, see, see they, they ain't here for me. They don't, they, Somalia don't show up when I just come on. It, this is Baina Bello. Uh, for, that's, that's what Baina Bello does. That, that's, let's just keep it real, fam, okay? Um, when, when you were, when you, uh, you, you, you have a voice uh, of a goddess, when you were singing, uh, I felt a frequency. What I have come to realize and understand is that in mastering uh, this spiritual system and, and the spiritual power that we have and that we are, we're vibrational people. And so that sound, those tonalities, those intonations uh, are uh, uh, physical. It has a physical effect and it alters matter. This is where the term chemistry or chemet or chemistry or alchemy comes from. We're, al we're living, walking alchemists. And frequency knows frequency. And so just as Professor uh, Bello was, was uh, uh, giving us these beautiful angelic vibrational tones, it was felt around the world. Now, people are not going to necessarily call in and say, I felt by in a bellow, but they felt something because frequency uh, collapses time. It, it, it doesn't have uh, a geographical location. And so when I look at the what, what, what IAT did, and I look at the songs, the music, the sound, the tonality, the intonations, that to me is just as a, a pop, more of a powerful weapon than if they had a physical weapon in their hand. But it's the sound and the voice and the intonations and the frequency and the vibration that activates whatever is in the hand. It, That's it. correct. L, L, if I can just, um, but, but you know, because, you know, um, yeah, uh, you, you, you guys are bringing in things and I, I just have to, to put some, some of it out there. I'm talking about music and the rhythm and vibration. Um, you know, as I was mentioning with ancestral voices, because we're looking for, oh, but Verona is going to Haiti. I just want to see ceremony, ceremony. That is Haitian uh, voodoo. And then coming to work on this film and then seeing the richness. Because when Verona was there, Mama Baina was hosting Dr. Lena Jeffries. And I believe it was the 123rd um, commemoration for the Celine. And Definitely when I talk about the performances, when I tell you about, and you, for those who watch the film, you will see it. Because you will not only see it, you will feel it. Yes. When yes, I tell you, you will feel it into the very core of your being. Um, you know, without spoiling too much, in, in about a week, I'll put one out where they were by um, the Citadel. And, um, you know, Mama Bayina, I believe, has uh, one man in her kind of collective. Mm -hmm. He's like an all round musician because I see him on everything. Mm -hmm. He's playing the seashell conquer. Next minute, he's playing what looks like a. Diggory Do, you know the Australian um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, yes. the drum. He, he, 
I don't know. He's he's like a spirit. And when you hear this brother and what he does, because all of what Mama Bayina had been doing at that time forms a very important part of the narrative. So as I said, what, how many years now? Seven plus years later, I looked at Verona and said, you see, even the stuff you were filming, we didn't even know why you, you did all of that because that is what is here now. And I remember Nana Camille Yabra telling me when I interviewed her in New York, she said singing is one of the ways in which we carried our spiritual power. This is how we gave of ourselves to those of us who, who couldn't withstand the extent of oppression we were, we, we, we were facing, you know? And Brother Philippe, as, as we know, even in, in um, Western, should we say, context, an opera singer can raise such a tone, they can shatter glass. So singing is not just an entertainment function. No. There no. is no yeah. such thing as entertainment <laughs> function. Yeah. That does not exist. Yes. Come on now. Everything yes. has purpose, whether yes. you know it or not. That's it. Everything has purpose. So, and I will add this. You know, the Brother Dalian was talking earlier about how the revolution that they like to hide and benign and, you know, put aside. But there is another even more important battle to this revolution that it's not hiding only, they bury it. How, how many of you have heard of the Battle of Adua? Battle of Adua is in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. And yes. that's the battle that kicked the butt of the Italian yes. army and made that Italy could not have a colony. But what most people do not know, the emperor of Ethiopia, sent for Aishan troops wow. in IT. Wow. They came to Ethiopia, and it's General Jean-Baptiste who made the strategy about how to beat the Italians. See that there? See that there? there it is. Which shows us when we come together, <laughs> we are invincible. Absolutely. Which is why they always have a program for us not to be together That's we right. must have a program for coming together in spite of it all 100 percent, mama bayina and if at some point brother philippe you would like um you know after you get all your business then as i said i'll play one piece of a little trap for us all because for me it, the, the the whole film has it's, it's almost like i'm i'm in, I'm in the midst of a ritual you know mm -hmm. um, I'm seeing about Haiti, it, it is just beyond, you know, because, yeah, I, I, I remember um, Verona showing me the footage and I said, where's the ceremonies? But v, you went to see the, the highest authorities on Vodou in um, Haiti, but where's all of that? So, well, you know, Mama Bayina, she's such a force, we can't tell her no. If she says, let's go, we're <laughs> going. <laughs> so I couldn't, I couldn't ask her. <sighs> that is true. <laughs> that is but true. Imagine now, just this year, I'm sitting there looking at the footage like, spirit is energy. Let's call it that. Energy, voodoo. Because it means same things. Yeah, you have voodoo. That means, as you've all already said, we have electromagnetic forces in our bodies yes. that connects us to everything else. Okay. Uh, let me create an image for you. Please. See if I take the voodoo ceremony as you, you know, real, you know, official ceremony. Mm -hmm. So first we will have Aida Dambala Wedu, for example, or we might start with Ibolele first, which is the memory of humanity. Mm -hmm. Dambala Wedu, which is all knowledge. Then you come to um, Legba, which is the, the door opener and the road tracer. Then you follow followed by the children, the Marasa. And so, because the children are the biggest powers, in fact. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then you will have this and that, depending on what the ceremony is for, there'll be all the other forces, right? Now, if you understand this well, you will understand how to run a country. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. you are creating, if you understand this well, you understand how to run an organization. Mm -hmm. I create an organization, but I'm not a Legba personality. So I have to look for a Legba 
to be the first person to run the organization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After Legba has opened the door and traced the road, I can come in. Oh, this is amazing. Um, Every step wow. of the way, the ceremony wow. tells you how to live. Mm. What type of, okay, if you are a good character, mm -hmm. you get along well, with what type of Ezuli will fit your character? If you are a, 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 a leg back actor, then you need Aizan as a type of woman to live with. You can mm -hmm. stay forever together. But you take a Ogu, a, a masculine Ogu, when you put it with a feminine Ogu, ooh, fire in the house. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> will work. Wow. Um, my, my beloved uh, 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 goddess, uh, Bello, uh, I'm going to say this and let me know if I'm on the right track or not as I'm, I'm trying to take a deeper dive into the translation and transference and transcendence of this. Um, <clears throat> there was, uh, I, I call it the two levels of, of, of consciousness. There was the consciousness before the conflict and then there was the consciousness after the conflict, when the Amu arrived. We obviously have been here a quarter of a million, so millions of years actually, but technically, if you want to get technical, a quarter of a million years. So we mastered uh, our, our spiritual systems and vibrational systems and frequency situations. And we mastered it to the point where we didn't have to necessarily use language. We use frequency and telepathy uh and sounds uh the click language all of these various different uh, uh iterations of frequency as you said earlier the, there's there's notes that we can hit that shatters glass well if you can shatter glass imagine what you can do to uh the opposing opponent and their human body uh and so when i look at uh hey I, I, iet and i look at the consciousness after the conflict which is what Haiti did. Haiti took the original frequency uh, before the conflict and used that frequency to defeat and neutralize the conflict. Because we know, we, we said, now there's no way in heck. We even now, conditioning, believe that 800 people whooped the butts of thousands of people with guns and with technology and and military might and and waves and waves that they send we, we we slaughtered that group then another group comes it's like well wait a minute we're gonna lose one of these no nope, no nope, no nope, no nope. so so i believe that before when we before the african went into the caucus not the regions or what have you and came out anti-african anti uh, uh spirit they didn't evolve they devolved we kept evolving they devolved and we i i don't know but, uh, professor bella i don't believe that you can tell me i have i've been looking at all the books and i'm trying to find it i don't know or believe if uh our original people ever had nightmares and night terrors because we didn't know what terror was. We didn't know, we, we, we were able to flourish without interruption. You know, Baba Kaba calls it the rude interruption. We were never rudely interrupted. So we had a chance for generation after generation after generation to not only master the spiritual sciences but then to be able to take those frequencies and build structures that to this day can't be duplicated or replicated. When we talk about this concept of superhuman, that's who we are. Now, here comes the Amu, here comes second frequency, and now we're in conflict. We had never seen, where there were, we didn't have an epigenetic tag or a genetic memory of terror. We didn't have a, a genetic memory of trauma. Because we're one with nature. There's nothing traumatic about it. We have ebbs and flows. We have death and rebirth. But we didn't have trauma. We didn't have terrorism. We didn't have, we, we had never seen anything like this before. So we took, 
and, and this is why I think it's really radical, radically important for the family to, 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 to be a part of this program today, because it's y'all going to be the ones to take this back into your communities, into your zip codes, and and spread this throughout. This is a frequency that is being transmitted right now. Can we take the frequency of IAT, our original spiritual frequency, and can we, sitting in our own black rooms, uh, move matter, change matter, manipulate matter, and literally change the world without even having to be physically in it? Your thoughts. Leaf on the tree. Just let's suppose, let's imagine that the enemy would cut up with me. You, leaf on the tree, you will save me. Wow. Mm. Wow. Wow. Absolutely. You know, I have to, this is one of my shows. I have to go back and watch again. I'm just saying this is, <laughs> and I'm actually here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. See. So yes, the answer to your question. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and brother Philippe and Mama Bella, please. No, Mama Bella, please. No, hold on. Yeah, but Mama Bella, please. Go ahead, uh, my beloved God. The answer to the question the oneness that the Aishan of 1800s had with nature. And today, after all the attacks and destruction of the vegetable life, we have one island, for example, Lagunave, mm -hmm. where two white men during the U US occupation practically raised turned the, the island into a desert, mm. cutting down the trees and selling the woods. Both became millionaires from Haiti's wood. Mm. Okay. So yes, the answer is because principles can be applied everywhere. It doesn't matter where you go with the principle. Once you know how to make electricity, I don't care. Mm -hmm. Wherever you go, you can make electricity because you've got the principles. But you also have to have the material. You have to have yes. the tools. Yes. And the systematic destruction of IT's natural habitat mm -hmm. has rendered Aitians less of who they truly are. Mm -hmm. The systematic uh, taking, going to other people's schools, other people's religions, other people's whatever mm -hmm, mm -hmm. has reduced the power because remember, everything is collective. It yep. makes no difference how much Bayina may know, but many serious things for them to be done, there must be 7, 21, 42 Bainas, whether they are male or female, it doesn't matter. Uh -huh, uh -huh. See, what the three of us can do, not one of us can. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And even as we speak of frequency, frequency you have to be, you know, so okay, I emit and send it, you have to receive it uh -huh, uh -huh. and then transmit it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And the next one must be capable of receiving and then transmitting yes so if within the family they split us okay you are baptist he is uh i don't care what this one is muslim the other one is this that and the other and there are many things that cannot be done anymore because uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. the one or two who has the knowledge and has the power cannot by themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's why I say IT to me is a pilot project. 
Learn to know yourself must be first spread and intensified in IT because that will help the soil to regener regenerate. The, uh, the plants, the trees, the animals that have disappeared must come back because uh -huh. all of them have their contribution. Uh -huh. Today, uh -huh. there are some simple sicknesses that cannot be healed yeah. because the plant that we used to make a simple tea with is not uh -huh. there anymore. Wow. If everything is important, every insect, every animal, every plant, every flower is vital to our life and to our power to vibrate the necessary frequencies to protect our planet. Because mm -hmm. we, are, we are the guardian of the planet Earth. We're not just responsible for the island of IT. We are the guardian of the planet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll show you. So not only must we do what must be done for IT, but our people everywhere. And that is why Dessaline, who liberated IT out of slavery into freedom, created an empire, not a republic. His letterhead says, Jacques, Emperor first of IT, comma, empire of freedom that's what we created in 1804 the empire why he sent delegations to see what was the level of understanding of freedom in jamaica in puerto rico and uh, cuba the delegations came back and said mm, they're not yet ready he says they will be so we must prepare for them so Dessaline's idea was not to free one island but to begin with IT, and then when Cuba is ready, get Cuba in. When Jamaica mm -hmm. is ready, that's why on our budget, fourth line is money to help those fighting for freedom. You imagine mm -hmm. you just come out, mm -hmm. yes, and then the fourth line is money to help those fighting for freedom. That's why when Miranda came to IT, we were able to give him money both weapons people go fight and get that get rid of slavery wow. when bolivar came to it mm -hmm. money boats weapons people go fight continue to fight because everybody must be free mm -hmm. that's the Asian. uh that's the way i view the world freedom mm -hmm. is a must for everybody mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not for a small group mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in Udu, it's all in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. All the books in the world will not help me understand IT's history. Wow. But some key songs in Udu open worlds of understanding. I say. Uh, you know, I, I I I'm about to stand up and start testifying. You know how you get to, you, you get in church and you just the spirit hits you. You got to just start moving your body. You know, I'm like, you wait no get it yeah. Woo! Okay, you got the rev revving up uh, over here, um, <laughs> uh, brother Dolly. You wanted uh, you wanted to tag in on that. Yeah, no, I, I I was just reaffirming Mama Bayina's point, and again, what she reminds us of is the need to to live these principles you know even as she tells us about uh, bolivar and all these now latin american heroes you you can see very clearly that AIT is the progenitor of um cuba mm -hmm. um i've even had some scholars extended to Karl marx and his idea of uh, you know um an egalitarian society and a communal but again you see this benign neglect it's, it's not so much as um preventing something from caring but just pretending that it has no consequence mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do that and the person internalizes that that is useless then they will discard it yeah and um, obviously because we've all been schooled a certain way um i like because you know from trying to get people to even get give uh, african spiritual understandings and listen for a second i can realize that a lot of people still have this um, kind of oh it's not scientific enough 
So within that body of what they now call neuro-linguistic programming, there is one core um, concept they call anchoring. And anchoring is almost like giving yourself an objective to link yourself to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is nothing you find core within Bodu as one of the many expressions of African spirituality than the ability to use your mind to anchor things in a realm yet unseen and bring it to make and have form in the physical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So again, this is a science and we do ourselves injustice when we don't make that effort to better, not even understand, live that science. Yes. Yes. Yeah, because we, we barely have a, a third of that. So if you guys would like, with your permission, as I said, I, I don't have permission for the whole, from the team to show the visuals, but I can play that part. Because this music, you know, even when, when, when we're in the editing room, I'm sitting there and I'm just yeah. going like this. It's just <laughs> one of them. So if you would like, with your permission... I you actually can share your screen and run any, anything that you like. Oh yes, I, I, I'm. I'm not allowed to share the visuals only because it's not released. But I, you can hear the audio because whatever you, you got, whatever you need to do, my brother. All, all right, right, all right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So just give me one second now, and um, I'm going to to play this section. Let us feel this vibration because we need that transformation. Okay, then. So here we go. The highly decorated French soldier John Baptiste Le de La Fosse, present at the Battle of Le Cap and writing his memoirs 40 years later leaves us with no doubt as to the state of transformation of the warriors he engaged that day, or what men these blacks are, how they fight and how they die. One has to make war against them to know their reckless courage in brave and danger when they can no longer have recourse to stratagem. I have seen a solid column torn apart by grape shot from four pieces of cannon advance without making a retrograde step. The more they fell, the greater seemed to be the courage of the rest. They advanced, singing, for the Negro sings everywhere, makes songs on everything. Yes. It's coming, Mama Baina. Just hold on. It's coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let, now we feel what I'm feeling when I'm in the editing room. Yes. So sorry, I just I just had to share that bit. Um, I'm gone. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I'm gone. This is amazing. Brother Philippe, this oh. you've not even had you've not even had the penultimate yet. Remember, there's songs for the Celine in there, there's songs for um Ezili, there's songs for Ogu. It, it, it's such a rich treasure. Is this in the movie? Is this in the oh, soundtrack absolutely. of the film? Oh my absolutely. god, absolutely. Oh my As god. I said, and when I looked at the tapes and I was like, you know what, Verona, whatever got you to be making filming these instead of the sensational aspect of voodoo, this was just waiting um to be revealed absolutely. and to be shared with the world. And um, I will say this now to all your listeners that with all these sound recordings, we're going to we're going to make them and have a musicology as part of the film. So ah, excellent. It because uh, all of those proceeds are being shared with Foundation Felicite um, and um, Queen Mother Doherty's um, uh, orphanage in initiative that she has in Benin. Um, yeah. I, it, th these songs will move you. And hopefully, before the very end, I might just play the Zuli one because that that would you just flow into the air. May, may I say something, uh, beloved? Please. Um and, and I really want the family to get this. Now, I do not know the language that they are speaking, <laughs> but my body and my DNA okay. does. <laughs> okay. Yes. I want y'all to really get that. See, yes. DNA is what you are, but deity is who 
we are. Fantastic. All we have to do is be in the presence of the frequency. I don't have to know the language. It would be nice, but I don't have to know the language to receive the frequency, to become one with the frequency. There's a reason when we hear uh, our African drum, when we hear our, our spirit speaking to us, that we have to move. You can't sit still and, oh, namaste, namaste. You can't do that. You cannot do that. When you hear it, you feel it. And there's a reason why. And some of you are afraid of yourselves. You're afraid of this truth. You're afraid of this frequency that you are. Because many of us are being revealed to ourselves for the very first time. And I'm talking people in their 50s, 60s, and 70s, and 80s that are finding themselves for the first time. And that's very scary, and I understand that. But the only way you can heal is becoming one with nature, is becoming one with the frequency. That sound, that's nature itself, that's the purity of the air that you are breathing, creating that. Uh, that's why we burn incense to 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 sterilize and cleanse our uh, uh, our environment. This is why we have the black room, and this is what we do in the black room. And so it does two things, family. The the and I can't wait uh, to to download this. And when when is it available, darling? Um, it will be available, the, the musicology will be available from the 20th of August, this very month. Okay, so this is an exclusive, because we got it before it came out, family. That's oh, uh, oh, 100%, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I'm trying to be a, a Black Negro News up in here, is what I'm trying to do, okay? <laughs> so we can, we try to keep it exclusive, right? So, so like our city of hall used to break all the new acts coming out, you know. Uh, so, so what I want you to do, fam, is I want uh, I put the links uh, in the chat, but they're also in the description, so you can go and get the film. I'm going to go and get it. Uh, and what I want you to do, uh, uh, in in honor of the Black Room, in honor of Queen Mother Maat, Melanin Frequency, I want you to use this as your ritual, part of your ritual, to self heal, to self repair the damage that is being done daily from the frequency of the Amu that we uh, call racial battle fatigue. There's a frequency, right? So that's the first part. The second part, by listening to this music and these sounds uh, and this symphony, listening to just Queen Mother uh, uh, Bello's voice, her tonality, uh, her spirit, you can feel her. Uh, it now goes into the body and it starts to extract, excavate, and exercise the deep seated hidden trauma that is embedded in our body. As above, so below, as without, uh, uh, as, as, uh, uh, as without, so within. So, this process that Dalian. Uh, Verona, uh, uh, aka Ancestral Voices, mm -hmm. Mama Bello has produced is not entertainment. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It is entrainment. I want you to get this now. It's not entertainment, it's entrainment. It is training your brain, it is restoring your frequencies, it is aligning you with the one in our, in our affirmation of power there's this line that we say at the end i am one with the one how do i become one with the one doing this work engaging these frequencies you don't have to know the language they did you don't have to learn to speak french you don't have to do any of those things if, if you want to that's great wonderful great but all i have to do is hear it and be open and receive it and my healing becomes automatic and instantaneous you cannot listen to this and i want you to do it here's also i'm going to give you a, 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 a an assignment i want you to do this for just seven days straight just make a part and make a point every single day whatever time that's right for you whether you use your headphones or you can be in a room somewhere watch this film 
listen to the music, have no other distractions in your black room. So that's turn the phone off, don't have no white images, no white sounds, because all of that is not uh, a natural sound of nature. Do this for seven days. Now, I want, I, what's going to end up happening, you're going to end up making this part of your life and ritual. It's going to be part of you. But in seven days, you are not going to be the same person that you were before you did this. I can guarantee you that. I can guarantee you that. Y'all are going to look at me, and when this film comes out, it'll come out on the 20th. I'll get it on the 20th. On the 27th, Rush Rock will be looking a little different when he comes on the air. Because mm -hmm. you're going to feel me. You're going to see me. And some of you have seen in real time my transformation. I, I, I'm recording it every day on these shows. And so there's a reason why I'm bringing you the best of the best, because we are the best of the best. I'm not bringing you no, no BS, no foolishness. I am trying to heal and restore our original frequency, our original signal of our original people. I know we can do this. But we've got to do the work. Somebody asked a question in the green in the in the in the in the, in the green room there uh, in the chat rather. Uh, is voodoo hoodoo? You see that kind of craziness? That's what I'm that's talking about right here. So that's, that's the kind of stuff right there that makes Rev Shock's butt itch. Is what I'm trying to say. We don't need that kind of energy. All right. And I, you know what? Call it whatever you want to call it. Just call it. Call it whatever you want to call it, but just call it. Yes. Know your name. Call it. Call the name. Whatever the name is. Honor your ancestors. Call your ancestors. Ashe. Just do something more today that you didn't do yesterday. That's all I'm asking. It's a layered effect. I didn't come into consciousness. All, you know, oh, Rev Shock, I didn't do all of this uh, 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 Tuesday. No, this, this, this is a process. Rev shock is a process. I was a Negro pen. I was third frequency. I love me some white people. <laughs> okay, I'm just being honest. Everybody knows my story. I love me some white people, some Europeans. Y'all better not say nothing bad about my Europeans. I was colonized successfully for years. Even though I was in metaphysics, I was in European. Uh, metaphysics. I wasn't into our metaphysics. I didn't want nothing to do with Africa until it broke me to the point where I dropped to my knees. Because what will end up happening is that racial battle fatigue will either cause you to psychologically uh, X out or physiologically X out. But you're going to X out. There's a wall that you're going to hit. It's inevitable because you're not in your right system. You're not in your right mind. And as uh, Professor Bello says, uh, you, you're split. We are bipolar. Their mental ill. The goal of the Amu is to make us bipolar, multiple personality disorder. If I'm sitting up uh, uh, doing the Muslim thing, the Christian thing, the Catholic thing, and so, I'm, pardon my French, I'm batshit crazy. How can I manifest anything? How can I do anything? My brain is split, therefore my spirit is split. Yeah. So how do we restore it? Mm -hmm. Professor Bello, ancestral voices, and by the way, uh, what I would uh, is it ancestral? Uh, what's what's the? Uh, ans uh, I know uh, Verona is in the chat. Verona, put uh, put your um, web address to ancestral voices on the uh, in the chat for the family, please, because. I don't want you to. I want you. I want you to take a deep dive. Is this your first time, family, hearing this, receiving this? I want you to get everything that Ancestral Voices has produced, because I've been rocking with these cats probably I don't know what five years, four years. Oh, that's a crazy number. Mm -hmm. And everything that they've produced has been gold, has been solid, because the elders are backing them. The scholar, look at the scholars that that this this brother, this couple is able to acquire. They went to IAT to be with uh, Professor Bella. They, they, they ain't playing with nobody. So so this is a safe place. I'm, I'm always screening uh, to make sure that what my people are sharing with my people is authentic to my people. 
to our people. And so uh, ancestral voices is authentic. So as we say on the streets, they the truth. So we know Professor Bello is literally a walking deity. She's a walking goddess. You know how they have in their crazy cosmic thing of saints and whatever. That's who she is to us. She she is Ma'at in the flesh with, with, with bones and flesh. She's absolutely a frequency. Every time I talk to her on the phone, I feel better. And when I even get her email, some of the emails she sends me, I can't read because it's in French, but I feel it when she sent it. I'm like, oh my God, that's Bello. I'm feeling the Bello. You know, how you feel? Oh, I got the bellows today, brother. That's how I'm feeling right now. You know, I'm feeling really good about myself. I got the bellow in me right now. So, Professor Bello, if you could close us out. Um, I, I really want uh, the family to stop being afraid of yourself. Stop being afraid of the best of you and who you are. What are your initiatives? Now, do you teach or do you have resources that we can uh, 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 access to learn the process uh, of Vodou? Is that something that you teach or something that you or someone you can recommend for us? Um, yes, I do. In fact, I have a book coming soon, uh, The Seven Laws or Principles of Vodou will will be coming uh, before long um, and probably we will be doing uh, a course also uh, eventually uh, but yes this is something that you could learn this is a science our mm -hmm. own sacred science mm -hmm. that anyone who wants to can learn can mm -hmm. master it. Uh, and depending on how much courage determination that you invest you will get whatever you put in is what you'll get. Uh, you come in just for the song and dance, and you dance and you song, and you go away. Fine. That's what you get. Mm -hmm. But if you want mm -hmm. to put in the work and understand everything or so much of what is, probably we none of us can can grasp all there mm -hmm. is in even a smaller song. Okay? Uh, for example, we have an Ogu song. It's me who is here. Even if you hear shooting, you hear cannon flying. Don't you worry. It's me who's present right now. So imagine you have an army of 800 men or 500 men who all of them are in the spirit of a group who could stand before who could stand in front of you? who can stand against you my god <laughs> my goodness yes okay. yes yes so, but if you take it as a song and you're just saying yeah yeah <laughs> it's a whole different story mm. okay. so that's the um uh, so in closing I want to thank the family for all that you have given me. But I want to remind, remind you, we are a huge family. The sun, the moon, the earth, the rain, fire are members of our family. Yeah. Plant life, animal life are members of our family. Learn to observe them and learn to learn from them. Oh. They teach as much as we teach, probably more. Uh, I was once very, I was in a very bad situation because anytime a couple of drop of rain fall on me, I was good to stay, stay a week or two in the bed. Mm. And then I received instructions, your problem is that you're ignoring the rain. Mm. So the next rain, you sit on that rain from the time it starts until it stops. And I did just that. Unfortunately for me, that rain came on a day where there was a big stage production that we were involved in. Mm -hmm. So there was a whole audience. And then I was sitting in the middle of the rain like a crazy woman. <laughs> but hey, that's what I was asked to do. And that's what I did. Do you know ever since then, I don't care where the rain comes or goes. I am never sick. 
from being wet in the rain. That's all rain had asked of me. So all of us, we're just one big family. These are not things. I write sun with a big S, earth with big E. Mm. How many earth do you know? How many sun do you know I to make it a common name? That's, yeah. It doesn't make, no, does not make sense. Even in their own logic, it makes no sense. So assume who you are. Know that you have all of that marvelous darkness from which sprang the light. The mother of light is darkness. Oh. And that's where oh. you are from. So don't be fascinated with light. Use it, of course. But be very, very much entrenched in learning to know better what darkness is because that's your origin. Learn it, use it. When you feel threatened, you feel hurt, find the dark. Lock yourself in the dark with silence and let them heal you. Ashe. 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 My goodness. Uh, Professor Bainabello, uh, Dahlia Adolfo, Ancestral Voices. Uh, please support our Patreon, uh, Patreon forward slash Rev Shock, so we can continue to move this ministry and build this movement. Uh, I'll end with I am one with first frequency. I am one with the first thought idea. I am one with the firstborn people. I am one with the only one. Ashe family. And so Ashe. it is. Ashe. I see you. Good